Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku puzzle for Friday the 6th of May 2022. It's the end of the working week in Thailand here. It's been a very short working week, two public holidays this week. So it feels like we've only been going a couple of days and now the weekend is here again. Uh, that's for those people that have a Monday to Friday job. For those of us that have a Monday to Monday job, <laughs> sometimes, occasionally, a lot of time, never kind of job. Um, it's just another day, I guess. Uh, right, um, what else is happening? Well, they've had some local elections in the UK, but it's too early to get the results yet, so we don't know whether people are um, going to protest against the hideous uh, lies of the Tory party or not. But, or the, actually, they're local elections as opposed to, um, it's not a general election, and local elections are usually for local things like you know, are you getting your rubbish clean, cleared on time or something like that, I guess. Right, uh, anyway, away from uh, the uh, less savoury aspects of the world and onto Sudoku. Now this is the Guardian hard level game. I'm looking at the grid now for the first time and it's, I see it's, um seems to have quite a lot of numbers today. I mean, I haven't counted them, but it just feels like there are a lot there. Maybe it's because they're so well spaced out spaced out, they're not on drugs or something, but um, whatever, they're, they're quite widely interspersed, let's put it like that. Um, and uh, I've seen the first number, so I guess I should tell you it. If this is the a Guardian hard level, um, uh, all provisos apply to Guardian ratings on the Sudoku puzzle, so uh, we'll see, as a famous ex-Orange president used to say, we'll see what happens. Six blocking across these two rows here puts a six into this square here. Six blocking up here, six blocking down here, and six across here puts a six into this square. I hope you know what I'm talking about, because I haven't bothered to explain the rules of Sudoku, assuming that you have an inkling of what to do. If not, just keep watching, and you'll probably work out the rules by yourself. If you can work out the rules, um, then you probably have the logic skills to play the game anyway. How about that? We have five blocking across this row here, five blocking across this row here, so that's got to be a five down there. Um, five, this five here blocks this square here. We don't yet have a five in this row, so we know we can deduce without needing to be Sherlock Holmes that five goes here, and the missing number here is seven. We have eight blocking across here, eight blocking down here, so this has to be an eight there. Okay, uh, so missing numbers here in these three squares are 2, 4, and 5. Now we have a 2, a 4, and a 5, blocking one square each, but we need a, we need two of these squares blocked to manage to fill in one of the digits. But what we can say is 4 is definitely, 4 is definitely in this square or this square, right, because we've got 4 and 4 here. And so uh, that means 4 can't be here, right, because we extend across this row here, and 4 blocks down here, so we know that 4 must fit there. Then we can say four down here, four up here, four down there, four around the roundabout, four goes there. Um, so the missing numbers here look to be three and seven. Uh, yeah, we can't quite tell which is which just yet. So. Okay, let's continue. Now, um, probably 
it's time to look in other regions of the grid. Generally, I, get tempt I tend to get fixated on a small area, which is not good. I always tell people when you're playing Sudoku, don't get fixated on a small area, and I do it myself. It's a matter of not um, practicing what I preach. But I, <laughs> I can't do it purposefully. <laughs> it's just it's just an unfortunate habit. Okay, I see a three blocking this square, I see a three blocking this square, and I see a three blocking this square. So now I see a three engrossed, engrossed, no, encapsulated in that square there. Oh, of course, what I forgot to mention was there was five in these two squares here. So five blocks across here, five blocks down here. Should have dealt with that, I suppose, in a logical way. Five up and five down, five goes there. Since I was doing down the, the numbers down here, I should have done that really, shouldn't I? But never mind. It doesn't really matter uh, which order you take this in. Five blocks down here, five across here. So we have five in one of these two squares blocking across this row here. Five blocking across here, five blocking down here, five blocking up here. So. We know that that has to be a 5. By the way, if you are new to Sudoku and notice that there were a lot of numbers at the beginning, you might automatically assume that it's going to be an easy game. Um, but that's not always the case. Sometimes number, sometimes grids with a lot of numbers given at the beginning can turn out to be the worst logic nightmares ever. Um, and vice versa as well. Um, in the meantime, now let's put in the one in this central square because of this one blocking down and this one blocking up. Go now. Uh, now this row doesn't yet have a three, but we have three blocking these. Oops, these two. If I can click the mouse in the right place, these two squares here. We have this three blocking this square. So eventually we put our three there. Uh, nine blocks across this row here, giving us a nine in one of these squares, and let's extend that westward, and this nine eastward, and so nine hits there. Now we have two numbers missing here, let's investigate and find out what they are. I don't know what they are. They are seven and eight. Uh, okay, so obviously we've got the blocking eight here, so eight there, seven will finish the row. Also, we've got eight blocking across here and eight blocking up here, so eight has to be there now. And eight blocking up here, up here, and across here, so that's like eight there. And we can finish eight off because eight blocking across here, like this, up here, up there, across here, and that's like eight. That's the final eight. The final eight sounds like we're in the uh, uh, quarter final. Okay, um, so seven blocks this square here, we, the, the numbers on the ends here are three and seven, so this has to be our seven, and this has to be our three. The last number to get here now is three. Okay, there's three blocking up here and up here, so that puts a three across there. Uh, 
uh, clearly we can get this number because we can work out what these two missing numbers are. The missing numbers here are 2 and 9. 2 and 9, right? In fact, we can put our 9. We've got a 9 block in here already, so we know that has to be our 9. And this has to be our 2 then. So now we can replace whatever number is left, which is a 7. There, 7 blocks across here, this will be a 7. There, one number to get here, which is a 1. Um, it's mostly done now, isn't it? Not much more to, to, to do now. Okay, we don't yet have seven in this row of the seven blocks here, so seven goes there. The last number in this row is nine. And I can't decide where to look next. It looks like there are opportunities everywhere. This is a very simple game. Two blocking down there, that's a two. This is a four. I much prefer the games where you have only one choice forward. You know, you have you your leg along a path. This is not one of those, really. This is a rather less enjoyable puzzle because I think there are lots of options open to you at one time. And the, 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 the best, the, or I think the most enjoyable Sudokus are ones that lead you along a specific path, whether you want to go there or not. You have to find that one opening and follow it along. Uh, those are always my favourites anyway. Um, you can make something different, of course. Seven blocking down here, there's a seven, this is a one. Uh, one number to get in this column, and uh, that number is a nine, I think. So, so nine blocking across here, and nine blocking up here. So nine in the square there. So one number to complete this column, which is two. Two across here, and two up there. So that's a two there, and two blocking down here, and down here. So two. Uh, four blocks this square, so four goes there. Five is our last number. So five blocking up here and down here. So it's a five to that square there. One stops this from being a one. So one is there. Six will be our next number here. Uh, up here, we still need a seven for that column. So let's put that in seven blocks across here. So that's a seven. The last number here is a six, I think. Six blocking across here means that is six. One more number to go for this column. Come to me, number, come to me, it's a four. I'm not magicking up the number or anything, I'm just searching through. Uh, missing number is a one, I think. And that puts a one here, and the final digit four today will be a three. And that's a very fast and uh, simple, not at all hard, hard level game <laughs> from the Guardian. Um, the, if you prefer the harder levels, come back later for the New York Times and the LA Times, although I have to go out again later today, so I'm not sure. I'll try and get the games in and upload them before I leave, if I can. That's it. Thank you. Bye-bye.